Oh, and then like, home, and, yeah. and then like, whenever I see someone talk about like Thailand, like, like lady boys always inevitably everywhere. Come up. Yes. Some of them How look damn good too. <laughs> yeah. Some of them look better than bitches. Damn it. Uh, tell the truth. Were you at all tempted? Hell yeah. You look at, bro, everyone is, te- if, you're, if you go to town and you're not tempted by these beautiful young men out here walking around with these titties, <laughs> you're lying. Because you're not there to do what you've already done. They're like artisans, bro. They're like trying to be a bitch. You know, they're trying to be all pretty. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of them are hitting, hitting hard. I, I actually, there's a video I have recorded that's not edited. It's called uh, uh, Life is a Ladyboy in Thailand. And it's, it's, it's not even a funny video. It's just me interviewing them. And yeah, it should be good. Fun. Yeah, no, it is fun. So they actually say the one said, the one said it's not gay to have a, a lady boy fuck you in your ass with their dick. That's what. The- <laughs> well, of course she would say yeah, that. Yeah. She wants you to <laughs> buy it. But the best days are the days when some dumb American pays okay. her thirty dollars to fuck him in the ass. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, she's like, yeah, oh, she no octopus in my ass. Good gig, wonderful. For, oh, but, like, like, Dude, obviously, girls are winning in this sex it. thing because even the dudes are t- fucking trying to look like bitches just to get more clients. So, I mean, I, if, if you're about feminism, you're about women's empowerment. Legalize sex workers and let me get a blowjob for fucking twenty bucks. Yes. yes. So uh, off of this. I wanted to ask Brandon, so there was the machete guy, obviously, but what was the like the most real world scary or risky situation through your videos you've experienced so far? We're talking fear. We're talking real deal fear. Real deal fear. Like my third day at Nana Plaza when I was in Thailand and I was broken out of quarantine. <laughs> I was broken. Up. I was afraid they were going to get me. You know what I mean? Because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to go to jail yeah. for uh, violating my quarantine. I was getting a foot massage, just a regular foot massage. You know, oh, white right. collar, no typical, sure. just trying to get the job done. And the this this beautiful woman was like, "Do you want me to?" So you're like, telling me you're in quarantine, <laughs> stuck in a hotel room, thinking, "Man, my feet are killing me." Yeah, yeah. I was doing VR. Feet. I was hallucinating. Whatever. Uh, uh-huh. I'm in my room. I'm not breaking the law. But this girl's rubbing my feet, right? And she she makes the hand motion like, "You want me to beat your dick?" But there's a language barrier, and I'm like, "Yeah, Kyle, beat my dick, beat my little dick." <laughs> and then uh, you know what she does? You know what she does? She pulls down his pants and starts beating his dick right there in front of me while i'm on the bed with my fucking feet out and uh yeah so a, a tranny started masturbating in uh oh in the hotel i got room. confused a- and uh yeah i thought a girl was asking if i wanted my dick beat and there's a tranny being like yo can i whip out and start fucking um you know louis ck <laughs> and that was like early into my thailand trip <laughs> He's like, that was like not even day one. That was like hour three. And I was hooked. And I was hooked. I was homie, hooked. Did, homie didn't get a tip. I left out of there on the fucking 10 feet down the road where I got the next beautiful woman to beat my dick. So how uh, looking were the were the prostitutes in Thailand? Like like could could you, were they all pretty much hot? And bro, so, so my I you know, I'm from Maryland. My version of like a prostitute is like some skanky Baltimore hoe. You have to spend four hundred dollars to bang. You're definitely yeah. going to get AIDS. She's probably going to rob you. It's going to be a nightmare. She dropped okay. out of school in the ninth grade. She smells like bugs and fucking dust. <laughs> uh, these prostitutes are like great. They're like great. Like she she gets tutored after school by some fucking uh, some smart dude, and she's you know going to get into Princeton and you know got to she you know. Got a good head on her shoulders. I thought the girls were very attractive. I thought it was a great experience. And they have to be good at their jobs because the great. better they are, the more turnover they get. It's great. And everyone wants to act like, oh, my God, you know, you're a bad guy. You're taking advantage of these women on in this poverty. Show. It's like, come on. Listen, they're not trafficked. I can tell you these. We, we, I had a great time with these yeah, girls. This is like mission work. If I picked up on the vibe from these girls, like they were in danger or sad, I'm not. I don't want to fuck a sad girl. It's not fun for me. You know, I like mm-hmm. to bang a girl that's into it. They're trying to. I feel like you're king bombs. shaming, but carry yeah. on. I mean, listen, yeah, you like to fuck sad girls, and you like to fucking. Uh, you're a sadist. That's not. You know, that's you. But yeah. these prostitutes, they were into it. They liked my vibe. You know, they liked me. This this girl, mm-hmm. these whores, they liked me. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You the know, I had prostitutes like me. I, on God, Woody, between me and you, <laughs> on pulling them. Listen. <laughs> I had girls I paid to bang. They came over the next night for free. Nice. Wait, that don't believe you. I swear. Is that true? I swear. Really? They I come swear. back the next day for free? Yeah, they come back the next day for free. They want that fucking that B-ham sandwich. Roll them up, dice them up, <laughs> pop them in the mouth. 
<laughs> um, they want to pr- get pretended to get beaten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'll also say this because we're we're hours into this. You know, only the real fans yeah, no will watch this. At this point, right? <laughs> no shout out, shout out my mom. You know, what I'm saying gang shit. Shout out Montgomery County. Uh, uh, <laughs> I had sex unprotected with three prostitutes, raw dog in them. Really, yeah. and nothing, no, nothing to fear. Were they were they all female? No, it was three dudes. It was three brothers behind a dumpster, Taylor. Nice. And I was off that ice. No, it was three girls. Come on. Don't okay. catch me. And you raw dogged three prostitutes, and all you got mm. was a vision loss. That's what I'm saying, bro. I bang these girls no condom, and I don't have an STD. I got blood work. So that just goes to show you STDs aren't real. Condoms aren't real. Taylor's a bigot. And Woody, let's go to Thailand. <laughs> Spock, baby. I mean, no, but I, I, I'm totally on board with anti-condoms. It's against uh, Catholicism. It's yeah. against God's will, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. God's I mean, will maybe is a bunch these... of fucking kids running around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>